In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an alert. Let's suppose we are searching for a Toyota Prius. And earlier in the day, I already ran a manual search, and I didn't really see anything I liked. So what I'm going to do is I want to be alerted anytime a Toyota Prius comes in the market in my area. What I want to do is type in the search alert name, which would be Toyota Prius, I'm going to call it. And the keyword I'm going to be searching for is also Toyota Prius. You can call your alert anything. It doesn't necessarily mean that is a term that it will search. The search name is simply for your reference. The keyword is what will actually be searched. And let's say I only want to search a Toyota Prius that has an image. And we're going to look for a Toyota Prius in the LA area. So I'm going to left click on the keyword to collapse it. And then uncollapse the locations box by left clicking on it. And I'm going to find the United States area in the LA area in California. And there it is. So now I have a Toyota Prius in the LA area and it's going to be for sale so I'm going to go by left clicking on the triangle I'm going to go down to the for sale category under the cars and trucks and now that I found the appropriate category I can enter in my price options so I'm going to be looking for a Toyota Prius that is no more than fourteen thousand dollars in the LA area and I want to click the auto fill with today's date so if I leave this running on my computer tomorrow or the next day or the day after that I won't have to manually keep putting in the date because the autofill with today's date will automatically switch to the latest date and I'm only going to be searching Craigslist in this case so now here's the difference between alert and a manual search in a manual search I would just click start search but if I want this to be a recurring alert I'm gonna go up here to tools and then preferences and here on the preferences screen you can see the notifications tab now here I have the option to change I'm sorry to check for new results however many minutes I want 15 minutes um, is a good time so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this at 15 minutes if it's automatically searches every one minute that'll be too much uh, you might want to just set this for uh, once a day so just use the appropriate minutes to email you the results uh, at the end of every night if you like and you can also just send a test email if you like uh, and the email will go to the account in which um, you're registered now I'm gonna click manage alerts and as you can see the actual search term um, Toyota Prius has come up and I'm just gonna go ahead and check that and then make sure that under edit alert it says alert is enabled this means I act I want to start receiving email alerts based on my criteria that I've inputted and I'm also going to select include the results in the message so when I get the email alert it's actually going to have a link to the Craigslist listing so if I'm on my Blackberry or my iPhone or any kind of mobile smartphone um, I can also get a link so all I'd have to do is click on it uh, straight from my phone and I have the option here to uh, either send it to my email or via SMS message and I'm going to choose all the results unless you want to be limited to 20 or 50 results you can choose the um, appropriate message length so this is what you want to do is make sure the top three uh, items are checked here to get an alert to your email and then you just click close and then you click save and that's all you have to do you do not have to click search it is auto going to it's going to auto search every 15 minutes for you and then send you a result so what we're going to do now is we're going to revisit my email in 15 minutes and see what kind of results we get. And as you can see, the email has just arrived. And because I indicated in the alert that the links be included in the email, I can just scroll through the um, listings that I'm interested in and click on the appropriate ones to go directly to the listings and this is what the email looks like be sure to add notify at cubic solutions dot com to your email whitelist to ensure that it gets to your inbox